Hi, welcome to our tutorial. Today we will be making a flash banner using Banner Maker Pro for Flash 4. Let's begin. At the top are these tabs and these tabs contain all of the information and actions you need to make any banner. So let's start with our first tab, which is size. Uh, this size is already set for 300 by 250, which is a medium rectangle. And these are all of the common web graphic sizes. Uh, you can also make custom sizes right here by changing these. You don't need to stick to the custom sizes. Since this is the size we want to use, uh, let's go to our next tab, which is the background. Here you'll set the background for the entire uh, banner. Uh, there are five different types, a color, image, gradient, transparency, and background animation. Color is very simple. You select a color, click on a color, click OK, and here it is in the preview area. You can also change it to an image, and if you click on image, it'll show you the different images that are available for this particular size. You click on OK, and it's changed. You can also select a gradient, which is two blended colors. So you can change your start and end color, and then the style here, you can make it into elliptical or even uh, a diagonal like this. One more, you can also do transparency, and the final one is the background animation, which are the animations that come with uh, Banner Maker Pro for Flash. And here's some blue circles. You can also change it to anything else. For example, here's clouds if you want to use something like that. And that may be all the animation you need for your banner. You just add in your text or your shapes or your images, and you've got animation going on behind the scenes. Uh, for this particular banner, we want to use a gradient. So I'll just click gradient back. And I will also add in a border here around the banner. Those will be this little black bar all the way around to help it stand out on a web page. Web pages are usually a lighter color, so a border helps uh, create an edge for you. The next tab is shapes, and this is where you can add in different shapes. Shapes are great if you want to create like a, a separate area to put text on. Uh, for example, you just click on add shape, and here's a rectangle. You can have text up here and then text on the shape as well. There's different types of shapes, uh, your diamonds, and here's stars. Stars are great because you can change the number of points and really make it stand out. We'll do 20, and we'll change the radius so it's a little bit bigger. So it's 50, and I think it's 60. Yeah, 60, that'll work. So here's our new shape with the star and we just click and drag it down to the bottom here and it's got the same sort of backgrounds that you would use for uh, the regular background for the banner so you can change color gradient or an image uh, this one will just use this particular color because we're going to try, try to do this fast and again you can add a border around that help it stand out as well so there's pretty much our shape we're going to center a little bit and there we go and we're done with our shapes. If you want to add an image, you go to the image tab, click on add image. Here are some images that are with a Banner Maker Pro for Flash. So if you want to click here, you can do it. You can add in any image that you want. So if you've got something you want to use, you can add it in and change the height and width and edit the image and cut, copy paste, that sort of thing. So we're not going to use this particular one. So we'll just uh, delete it. And there we go. So the next one is text. So if you want to add text, you come here, type in your text. Flash and uh, it's in black, so it's hard to see. So we will change it to white and I'll make it stand out, make it a little larger. Here we go, it's probably a little too large, but I want to change the font to be something a little uh, thinner. So some of these, here we go. Uh, this one's, uh, this font's a little thinner. Oops, yeah, but we need to move this up to the top. So we're gonna click it over here, move it up to the top. And there we go. And here's what we need here. You can add in a shadow, so make it sharp, make it a little sharper here. If you change it to black, it'll help make the letter stand out a little better. So if you want to add in another line of text, you click add text. So I'm going to say version 
four and type it. Then you can drag it down to where you want it to go. And there we go. Make it a little smaller maybe. Choose a different font. There we go. So you can add in as many as much text as you need. You don't need to just stick to two or and you can put them anywhere on the banner. And we change the font color here, maybe yellow, maybe bold. A uh, one neat trick that you can do to scrunch text together, is, that always seems to be an issue with banners, is you can use negative letter spacing. So that moves the text together. This minus two is probably a little too much. But that works. You just stretch it out and that keeps everything within that shape, which was what we'll want. Here's pretty much everything I want for this real simple banner here. So the next thing we want to do is animate. So let's click on animation. So if we want to animate the shape, we click on the shape and a neat animation for shapes is spinning in place. So let's click on that, click play and it spins. That's a way too fast. So we're going to slow it down, click play again. And there we go. This helps. It's a nice animation because it's slow. It draws your eye, but it's not obnoxious enough where you tune it out. So that's a, that's a good type of animation. If we want to animate this text up here, we click on the text, and then bring it down to here. And uh, there are some of real text effects and scrambles a nice one. And here we go. That scrambles text brings it back. One thing I'm going to do is set the last frame delay to 150 to help make it a last little longer so you can read it. Then it starts back up again, stops, and starts up again. So uh, That's pretty much everything you need to make a banner. If you want to add an overlay, overlay animations, it will add leaves or snow or there's just a couple different things that you can try. So uh, we're going to stick to no animation here. So we click play again. There we go. Now we just want to click save. And if we click save right now, it's going to say, hey, you didn't change your URL. And what you want to do is when someone clicks on the banner, you want it to go to your site. So you need to change this setting right here. So I'm just going to change this to google.com. Then I'm going to click save. And it's going to give it here, and we're just going to name it test. Save it. And if we want to preview it, we just click on preview. And there's our banner. Saved, and it tells you it's only 14K, which is nice and small, so it'll load fast. And that's everything you need to do for your tutorial. Thanks for watching.